On the 2nd of July, 200,000 people gathered in Hyde Park for Live Aid. On the same day, over 250,000 people gathered in Edinburgh. They were all there with a political agenda to make poverty history. As soon as I heard about the event, I realised that, that I really had to be there. 30,000 children are needlessly dying a day. This is something I wanted to add my name to. And this is a short film of my experiences of the day. Sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that great generation. You have that opportunity to act now. Let us work to make poverty history this year. And then we can all stand with our heads held high. myself as Lord Provost have supported the Make Poverty History campaign aims of aid, debt and trade and we want to make sure that we get that message out to the G8 leaders so they will make the right decisions for the future of our world. So I want you to have fun today, be safe but more importantly to make your voice be heard so all of us individually and together will make poverty history. Thank you. We can build great white cities in concrete and glass. We can conquer new frontiers no matter how great the task. And the world seven wonders how foolish our pride as we bring down the heavens with God on our side. We're gathered here today, bound together by a common humanity and a passionate desire for justice. Our objective here today, our objective here today is crystal clear. Make poverty history. At three o'clock, 250,000 people stood still. They stood still for a one minute silence a one minute silence to remember the dying children of Africa. During that one minute, over 20 children would have died of want.
I think it's been a tremendously successful demonstration. I've met people from all over Britain who've come to Edinburgh, people from the churches, the faith groups, people protesting in their own right. And I think uh, we can already send a message to people who've demonstrated that their efforts are having a success. There will be 100% debt relief for the poorest countries. Maybe you want to join in with us, it goes like this. One love, one heart, let's drop the debt and it will be There will be a great silence across the world while we await the verdict of eight men. Is a continent to live or to die? We are not apathetic. You asked us to engage in the process and we engaged. We come to you with 3.8 billion people in our back pockets. What are you going to do about that? And if we are to be denied, if we are to be denied, then let us tell them this that having engaged in the political process and should you fail us we will not be cynical we'll bide our time and when you come to us and ask for our approval at the ballot box fuck off <laughs>